in 2014 after the formation of Telangana state. As per the desire of the Chief Minister Shri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, keeping in view the usefulness for improvement of farming and the welfare of the farmers, an exclusive horticultural university was set up. Started for this noble purpose, the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticultural University carved a niche for itself in a very short span of time and is now ranked among the top four horticulture universities in India. Most importantly, this university is striving ahead with focus on three aspects education, research and extension. As part of this education, diploma, degree, PG and PhD courses have been introduced. Special courses have also been established under this university. In the research division, research is being conducted on fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicinal and aromatic plants and turmeric and other horticultural crops. Under the extension division for the development of the field of horticulture in the state, programs and workshops are being conducted to provide awareness and knowledge to the farmers about new technologies and scientific farming methods. In this manner, treading the path of progress with many outstanding features and specialities, let us take a closer look at the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticultural University. <music> College of Horticulture This is located in Rajendranagar, Hyderabad itself. Situated in a vast 203 acre campus, it possesses all the additional departments and faculties to make it a complete and comprehensive center of excellence. There are 11 divisions in this university and every year, as per university norms and standards, admissions are taken to BSc Honours, MSc and PhD courses. The university is renowned for its high, technologically advanced teaching methods and modern digital methods of instruction. It is remarkable that the library here functions with anti-theft magnetic software. To facilitate research scholars to conduct analysis of ground statistics, the requisite software tools and statistical computing facilities are available here. In the university campus itself, there are many types of field research plots for PG and PhD scholars to pursue superior standards of research. These field research plots are extremely helpful and useful. Besides which, six poly houses have also been established in the university campus. For the purpose of experiments by research scholars, arrangements have also been made for the provision of various types of commercial crops. Moreover, in the campus of the university, there are exotic and fantastic variety of aromatic and medicinal plants in a special display area. All these plants have been procured for the practical education of the students and have proved to be extremely useful and educative. This is why students who have studied degree and PG courses in this university go for higher studies and easily find entrance and admission at JRF and SRF. In the same manner, many students have bagged prime jobs in the prestigious public and private sectors.
exceptional features. This horticultural college at Mojerla is growing in a phased manner and is achieving extraordinary and excellent results. Horticulture Polytechnic Colleges have been established, especially for imparting the two-year diploma courses in horticulture. Two such polytechnic colleges have been established in Telangana, one at Ramagiri Killa in Pedapalli district, another at Dasnapur in Adilabad district. Students who have completed their diplomas in horticulture are finding employment in public and private sectors and are working to assist the farmers at field level. Another important and significant feature of the horticultural university is that it is also a center of research. After education, research is given the greatest importance. For this purpose, various types of research centers have been set up at various locations. The major establishments among these is the research center for mango and other fruits in Sangharedi, a vegetable research center at Rajendranagar, floricultural research center, a grape research center and medicinal and aromatic plants research center and turmeric research center at Kamarapalli in Nizamabad district. Home to innumerable fruit varieties and the cradle of fruit diversity, Sangaredi has emerged as the hub and center of excellence for fruit research. In this research center, superior quality of mango and goa saplings are being grown and supplied to the farmers at a low price. The research center has also developed protocols for export of mangoes and experiments and research are underway to achieve a bumper harvest of high quality mangoes. As a result of the research conducted here, it was discovered that the Gova plant could be grown in a high density plantation and 2000 plants were grown in one acre and reaped a harvest of 10 to 15 tons of govas and various aspects of fruit production and growth and bringing the results of this research and its benefits to the state of Telangana. The Telangana State Horticultural University has established its importance and is earning recognition and renown. This is the Vegetable Research Center at Rajendranagar. Presently, research is being conducted on various types of vegetables and legumes. Research is focused on various types of vegetables and their characteristics and how they will be adaptable and beneficial to research. At the Floriculture Research Station in Rajendranagar, research is being conducted on the cultivation of exotic flowers like roses, chrysanthemums, gerbera carnations and other flowers. To increase the freshness and flower life after harvest, new, advanced and suitable way of packing and packaging have also been developed here. After the formation of Telangana state, Research was initiated here on aromatic plants and medicinal plants and herbs in a big way. Awareness was increased among the farmers regarding the cultivation of these plants. In the nurseries here, more than 100 varieties of medicinal and aromatic plants are currently being grown. Missionary for preparation of aloe vera gel has also been recently installed here. This is the Grape Research Center at Rajendranagar. In the state of Telangana, it is notable that 590 hectares of land is under grape cultivation. Research is ongoing here on 50 varieties of grapes. 
for the expansion of horticultural education in the state and the development and progress of research as well as to impart modern scientific agricultural education and awareness to the farmers. The main headquarters and the PG center of the Sri Konda Lakshman Telangana State Horticultural University is being established at Mulugu. In a spacious premises of almost 12 and a half acres, the administrative block, the academic block and special girls and boys hostels for those gaining admission to PG courses as well as a guest house with modern amenities and facilities are coming up at a fast pace. In Mulugu itself, beside the main campus building and the PG center, with assistance from the state government, a center of excellence for fruits has been established. Here, six types of fruits with 39 differential varieties have been developed in the high density plantation methods and are exhibited in display plot. This is a clear picture of the progress and advancement in horticulture which the Konda Lakshman State Horticultural University has achieved and is still achieving. This is only the first step. Taking giant strides in progress in the short span of time is indeed a phenomenal achievement. This is the aspiration of the Chief Minister of the State, Shri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, and the invaluable assistance of the government. And last but not the least, tireless efforts of the higher officials and administrative cadre of the university. All these factors have contributed to shaping the horticultural university as a shining example to the nation. Let us join hands and participate in this effort. Come. Let us lead hand in hand to further frontiers of success. Let us spread the name and fame of Konda Lakshman Horticultural University across the world.